Fighting corruption in Nigeria is very easy and it's because those that you are going after are right before you. Every administration always took about fighting corruption but we saw much of this during the Mohamed Buhari administration for eight years where it was more like a fight to an opposition. Fast forward 2023 since Bola Metinibu assumed office the EFCC boss said that they have recovered over 60 billion naira from fraudless activities across Nigeria and that they need the help of Nigerians in order to prosecute those that they have arrested as the investigation is ongoing. But one of the questions that keep bothering most Nigerians is that who are those people being arrested by the EFCC? Is it actually the Nigerian politicians, those that are stealing the commonwealth of Nigeria or the little boys with computers that are stealing you no know, money from people around the globe? If you compel the boats, the money that is being stolen by those Yahoo boy is just a little fraction of what the Nigerian politicians keep stealing from the Nigerian treasury. His Excellency Mr. Peter Obi over the weekend was in a forum and he talks about But then, is that that we have a country or the criminals take it over? If we have a country, let's declare war and have that country. Somebody must be in charge. Is that, that us or criminals? How can criminals overrun us? I've been a governor and I said it. Anybody who can go and see it in Anambra State. I told them, is either them or me? One person must have the space. And we dealt with it. Why can't we deal with it as a Nigerian? Why are people occupying our waters and everything? Today, we spend more time chasing young boys with computers and say they are doing Yahoo Yahoo people. When people are stealing the billions which we have as a government, why are we wasting our time? Why are we doing that? Why are we chasing young men all over the place? I can assure you that all the money that Yahoo Yahoo people have stolen in one year. I have been an insider. What we want is those who are stealing our public money. I'm not encouraging anybody to steal, but we will deal with those who are stealing our common resources first. Let's catch them. They are the ones causing us problems. They are the ones who have a lot of money without productivity. They are the ones causing them from inflation to high rate of exchange because they have billions without productivity. Let's deal with it. You keep on going after small boys who carry computers saying they are doing Yahoo Yahoo. Just like you've heard Mr. Peter Obi saying that the money being stolen by the Nigerian politician in a day is more than the money that those Yahoo Yahoo boys combined in Nigeria are able to steal in one year. When you look at it carefully, within the last eight years, you will understand that most of the arrests, most of uh, the people paraded for corruption and internet fraud and all of that are just young people. You know that the EFCC boss came under serious scrutiny when he said that every 10 Nigerians, youths, every 10 Nigerians, one to three of them are doing internet fraud. Talking about the students in Nigeria University. And we saw what happened in Kwara State over a week ago. But is this how to fight corruption in Nigeria? Away from that, when you look at the our the rising of dollar over Naira, within the last eight months, since Bola Metinibu assumed office, we also understand that the EFCC have also misplaced their priority. And this is like fighting a particular sickness with a different medication. Somebody who is suffering from kidney failure is now being attended to by traditional doctors. How do you expect such person to recover from such illness when he or she is not being treated by the proper medical Personnel. And this is the situation with the corruption and the rising of dollar against the Naira in Nigeria. Where the EFCC continues to go after bureau the change operators. We saw what happened in Abuja. Well, they went there to confront them in Wusezon 4. <laughs> But this is not the right will to go. And this is what His Excellency Mr. Peter Obi said in regards to that. If we say the rate of exchange is bad, we start chasing breed to change people on the streets. Have you ever seen that before happening anywhere in the world? Everywhere you go in the world, for those of you who came from Europe, breed to change is every country in the world. So why are we chasing breed to change? What is breed to change? Breed to change is neither the supplier, nor is it the person who is demanding. He's just the market provider for those who willing seller and willing buyer he has committed offense when everybody
Everybody knows that the only way you can, the only way you can show up your currency is by a simple thing, productivity. The more you produce, the more you deal with issue of stability of your currency. But what is even shocking, they are chasing breed to change people. People are even selling Naira. They are not chasing them. They are just not even who are selling dollar. But Naira is being sucked everywhere. And we can go on and on. It's still our country. We have no other country except this one. And we will deal with it. We're not going to so doing this, you will be able to you know, compete with other currencies of the world. If you want to add value, you just make production. And the former president, Mohamed Buhari, made this known. The reason why he refused to float the Naira, as well as, you know, do some certain, make some certain decision to cause a lot of havoc in Nigeria during his administration. Currencies are countries that have uh, enormous production capacity. They have factories in place, their infrastructure in terms of power, communications, and security are virtually perfect. Nigeria virtually imports everything from rice to toothpick. Now, if we don't have the money to import those things, what is the value of further developing our Naira? He talks about the issue of production, of which we don't produce anything in Nigeria. Him being the president for eight years and not being able to still to push Nigeria into that production line, he also have his own to be blamed over the inability of his administration in order to produce enough food or turn Nigeria into an industrial nation within the last eight years and then turn around. Now, to be saying that he was able to, you know, guide Nigeria within eight years because you know, if he do some of those things that Bola Metinibu did within the last eight months, Nigeria would have collapsed by now. But yes, it is good that we let subsidy go. It is good that we take some certain bold step. But what are the mechanisms put in place in order to reduce the suffering that that policy you are making will not be so much impactful negatively on your citizen? It's a problem and what the economic team and the president himself never understand. Anyway, what do you think about this? Let's have the conversation in the comment section. Thank you for watching.